Now time for the seven things you'll be talking about today. Number seven. A, a class action uh, sex abuse lawsuit has been filed by an Alabama victim of sexual abuse when she was 16. Uh, the lawsuit has been filed against the website and parent company of Pornhub. Uh, this is a, a pornography website, I'm told. It's hosted videos of the assault of this underage girl on their website. A judge has ruled that this can now move forward, which is great. Uh, anyone who had videos or photos posted on that site from pe- February 2011 until yesterday from when they were underage can join the lawsuit, and I hope they lose their ass uh, because they deserve it and and, uh, they hosted these images they asked them to take these images down they didn't they're gonna get what they deserve hopefully i can't wait number six lots of people are probably worried right now there are probably a lot of people thinking oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no and i love it i love that they're worried about this why are they worried about it Uh, Well, because they might be on the list uh, of Jeffrey Epstein's associates. Now, there are also investigators and victims. Some of these documents are about to uh, release. uh, Some of those will be redacted, obviously. Uh, But there are people who are going to be named in this, and it could be very bad for them. Now, it might also be a big, fat nothing. Uh, But a judge has ruled that this list can be released. And you got to ask yourself, if it's a big fat nothing, what were people worried about? So that leads a lot of people to believe that there's a big fat something uh, here. And there are a lot of people thinking, oh, man, this is going to get really bad for me. Number five. The last 11 officers uh, from the holds placed by United States Senator Tommy Tuberville, Republican out of Auburn, in response to the Pentagon's questionably legal abortion travel policy have been confirmed. Yes, uh, I believe they were all general level officers uh, who were waiting for confirmation. There has also been a bill passed uh, that give these guys back pay. Uh, Based on that, I have absolutely no problem with that. I I guess the question you have to ask yourself is this. This brings the official end to the blockade without any relief on the issue Tuberville sought to fix. So what was the point and who's to blame for this failure? Uh, I blame other Republicans. I don't blame Tommy Tuberville. Uh, Tommy Tuberville uh, fought this fight for almost a year and his colleagues did not help him. I mean, he had some support uh, by words, some by deed, uh, but they generally said, please stop doing this. Number four. Uh, Interesting moves in the world of steel. These are two different stories that I think have similar ramifications. Uh, U.S. Steel is selling itself uh, to a Japanese company, and that has many worried in Washington, D.C., about the national security impact uh, of such a deal. Uh, J.D. Vance uh, is one who has spoke out on this and said uh, this is a really, uh, really bad idea to be going down this path and having this company uh, be sold here. Josh Holly, Marco Rubio uh, raising some concerns on this issue uh, as well. Meanwhile, United States Senator Katie Britt, Republican of Montgomery right here in Alabama, and other senators are warning that uh, Mexican steel uh, is flooding the U.S. market and causing problems as well. And they're calling on the administration to do more to protect America's steel industry. You know, Donald Trump was very good at protectionism. Uh, There's some questions. Is this a a boomerang of that? Number three. Uh, Decatur City Councilman Hunter Pepper has drawn the ire of the media and many in the, quote, community, end quote, because he has accurately pointed out that the protesters who have been harassing the city of Decatur's businesses and even the mayor's neighbors are demanding things they cannot be given. We demand that they're arrested, charged, and convicted. That, that's not how it works. We want everyone fired. We want the mayor to resign. We want the police chief to resign. But well, they've been over backwards for him. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, sources have told Yellowhammer News, and by that I mean me, uh, that the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency is done with the investigation of the police shooting of Stephen Perkins, and the shooting was justified, uh, but the evidence will be presented uh, to a grand jury. I'm telling you this right now. This information 
is going to shock you based on how this stuff has been handled by the protesters. There has been willful lying by a lot of people who have gotten a lot of airtime. Number two. As a record number of illegal immigrants break through the southern U.S. border, Alabama United States Senator Tommy Tuberville, Republican out of Auburn, uh, has some thoughts on the matter. And his thoughts basically go like this. Donald Trump hasn't gone far enough. Uh, he needs to speak out more. Uh, this isn't a criticism of him. It's a defense of Donald Trump uh, because the media is going absolutely apoplectic uh, on this issue. Now, you'll notice something. This whole poisoning of the blood thing, they're trying to say, oh, he's echoing Hitler. He loves Hitler. He's saying what Hitler would say. And, and Donald Trump's saying, hey, look, I've never even read Mein Kampf, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so you might want to knock that off. So now they're mad about that. They're mad that he hasn't read Mein Kampf. How have you not read Mein Kampf? Um, I'd like to make an admission here today. I've never read Mein Kampf either. I know. I know. Uh, I, I'm a failure. Uh, but I'm beginning to think maybe the media is not being fair about this. Now, time for the number one thing you'll be talking about today. Colorado has officially barred former President Donald Trump from the ballot for a crime that he did not commit, has not been charged or convicted of, and uh, there is probably going to be some pretty swift recourse uh, in this. Uh, they stayed it until early January, hoping that the Supreme Court would come in uh, and unscrew this up for them. Uh, but these Democrats have decided that they wanted to officially make it so. And it is now official. This is no longer uh, subjective. Uh, this is no longer conjecture. Uh, this is nothing. This is official. It is now uh, officially part of the public record and the world in which we live in. The story of 2024 will now officially be able to say that Donald Trump is the victim of political persecution. This is absolutely 100% political persecution. Now, you may have thought some of these other things were, and maybe some of them are, but this removes all the shadow of a doubt. There are at least issues with what went on in some of these other cases, okay? Uh, the New York thing is stupid, no question about it. Uh, Georgia has some real issues. The document stuff has some real issues. Uh, I, I agree with that. I, I get it. But this is 100% political persecution. They're using the January 6th committee, uh, who said that he should have been charged uh, with inciting insurrection, but he was never charged. So the whole thing is a complete farce. Now, I'm not smart enough to break all this down for you for what's going to happen here next. So, Jay Town will be with us uh, next. Uh, we'll get his thoughts uh, on exactly uh, what's going on here. We'll let him give his say, and you will all be smarter for having heard it. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for that. Also, uh, jump in here with your thoughts if you'd like, 866-494-WVNN. That's the Elk River Trading Company phone lines. You can also get in here and text in with your thoughts and your questions for 10 with him at 925-494-WVNN. We got a lot to get into with J-Town, uh, so we will get into that next. But first... Uh, let me tell you this right now. Express Bath. Uh, listen to this. Uh, Express Bath. They want to make sure uh, that your bathroom is looking great. You're going to have a bunch of holiday parties. And those holiday parties, here's what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to see your bathroom afterwards. You're going to go, ah. I'm a little embarrassed that people saw this. It didn't have to be this way. Uh, how can I make it look better? Oh, I can tell you. My friends at Express Bath, they can make your bathrooms look better because that's what they do. They're the pros. They've got experts at every level, designing, installation, every single thing. There's a reason why they're Alabama-owned and Alabama-loved. The specialists at Express Bath, they're your local jacuzzi dealer. They want to remodel your bath, your shower. They want you to be happy again. New showers, tub-to-shower conversions, bathtub rep Placements, bath and shower remodeling, all at an affordable price. Listen up, twelve hundred fifty bucks off any remodel project. Mention this ad when you talk to my friends over there at Express Bath, Express Bath dot com. Remember, they'll bring the duck. Get a free estimate today. Two five six two zero eight three two zero three. Go see my friends at Express Bath today. When you do, make sure you tell them Dale Jackson sent you. Get WVNN Dale Jackson seven things you should be talking about today right in your email box every morning. Go to yellowhammernews.com and sign up today.